NPN transistor, 2 1K ohm resistors, 2 10 nanofarad capacitors, a potentiometer, 2 or 3 diodes depending on what you want to power, another capacitor to smooth out the voltage going to what you want to power, a 555 timer chip, a 12 volt power source, I will be using 3 lithium ion batteries giving me around 12 volts, jumper cables. Okay, pin 2, connected to ground with a 10 nanofarad capacitor. Pin 5, connected to ground with a 10 nanofarad capacitor. Pin 1, connected to ground. Pin 4 connected to pin 8. Pin 8 connected to positive. Pin 2 connected to the middle of the potentiometer. Make sure that when you put it into uh, diodes, that they go in opposite directions. If you see the little white strip, when you put it in, make sure one goes this way, and the other one will go this way. And the right one. Pin 7 is closed. Connect pin 7 to positive with a 1K resistor. Connect the middle of the potentiometer to pin 6. Get your NPN transistor, plug it where you want to. We're going to plug pin 1 or base into pin 3 with a 1K resistor. We're going to plug the emitter to ground. The emitter is the third pin. Or if you don't want to call it the emitter, pin 3 of the transistor. Okay. Alright, update. I changed out the cermet pot for a taper pot. Right there. The second pin of our transistor will be our new ground. The pulse width modulated ground. Okay, so let's connect uh, a jumper wire to a rail so we have... So I will be connecting pin 2 to any random rail that's not used right now. So this whole rail now is is our pulse width modulated ground. Now we can power something. I'm going to take uh, this lead and plug it into the negative. And before I plug in a positive, I'm going to use a diode and plug it like this into a positive rail connecting that to positive this is because of inductive spiking I really want you to go to Afrotech's mod video and watch his video on inductive spiking and you'll understand why I'm doing this now take this lead and plug it into positive now let's power it up Oh yeah, I uh, added leads 
to my potentiometer so I can control it easier. Let's turn it on and you'll hear a buzzing. The buzzing changes as I move the potentiometer up but it can still power on. Let's turn it off. If you want to get rid of the buzzing I suggest you connect a capacitor going to the negative rail that we made and connecting to the main positive. As we turn it on, there is no sound and 